So there, the strange front handlebars of the East German world champions. These low-profile bicycles. The East Germans, of course, the first people to appear with them in the Moscow Olympic Games. Now everybody seems to ride them with their own special variation to them. But the world champions in Brno, what great champions they were, now try to qualify, hopefully as fast as team, in this 4,000 metres qualifying match. Well, the East Germans on the left and on the track with them, the team from Poland. And the world champions fielding only two of their successful team last year. And those two riders are Volkler Winkler and Bernd Dietert. So the East Germans now one and a half laps covered and already slightly ahead as they come round again into their starting station, Hugh. Yes, yeah, smooth machine-like efficiency of these men from East Germany. Four men closely knit together. The Poles actually having a few problems in their start. They lost a man off the back. He fought to get back on and eventually they got together. But that's not really good because it takes a little bit out of you. East, Ge East Germans are the team that are going to put up the fastest time here. So I expect Poland to try and keep with them because that's obviously going to give them a good qualifying time indeed. We'll get the split at the halfway point for the East Germans, who are well up at a time of 1 minute 8.52 for the first kilometre, already on a 4 minute 32 schedule, so we know they're going to qualify. The thing is, are they going to beat the track record of 4.29.80 set up by the Russians? Well, Poland went through to the semi-finals last year, but they have a very, very tough opening qualifying match here against GDR because if they are caught by the East Germans, then they will be automatically eliminated from the opening rounds of the competition. And swinging up on the banking there. Bern Dietert dropping in nicely behind and the gap already going out to over three seconds. Four seconds and this is a tremendous start by the East Germans. When you think that the Poles took fourth place last year in the World Championships, it just shows the quality of the opposition here. In, even in the qualifying round, they're really fighting to stop the East Germans from trying to catch them. And we expect to get a split at the halfway point of the East German team next time. And I'm just wondering what kind of a time they're going to be on. 2.14 it was, in fact. 2.14 is just outside a 4.28 schedule. So if they keep this up, it could be another new track record. Looking very composed, no problem at all. All riding close together. Very, very good changing indeed. And I noticed in the Polish team, they've called on the services of uh, uh, Davidovich, who holds the individual track record. A four minutes 44.50 but can he help the poles well quite likely Hugh that uh, Davidovich is going to feel the effects of all those 4,000 meters pursuits he's had to ride this week and the East Germans here now still looking the better combination and they really are hunting now for that Russian track record of 429.8 very very smooth East German machine here one unit these four cyclists always tell a good team look at that close formation the front wheel of the teammate almost touching the back wheel of the man in front 321 there for the three kilometers and this is going to be a staggering time if they keep this up they're on a four minute 28 schedule and that would give them a second advantage over the track record held by russia it all depends now on this final kilometer all the four well knit there hugging the inside of the track super efficient changing no gaps between them at all well, perhaps the difference is that East Germany rehearsed this routine so many times when they're riding as a team, and now you can see only three of the Poles are left. So Poland in all sorts of trouble, but they might survive being caught by the East Germans, and that at least could help them still to qualify into the quarterfinals. East German with four riders left on the track, coming round for the bell, and this is going to be a time to remember here at Leicester very, very swift changes now as they try to keep all men fresh for the front. And it's quite likely now they'll drop a man and let three come through to the line. But the East Germans, I think, are very, very proud indeed of their reputation in pursuiting. The first team, I think, to come round with oh. all four men. Now, let's see the clock as they come into the home straight. 4.29, 4.30.4, so they slowed a little bit. But they will, of course, well qualify a little bit slower than the USSR.